we all wondered if this razor would get stuck. And we knew that we had a place on the farm where we could get it stuck. Right. Hey, do you think This is that place. I can bump you. Bump him. He said he'd bump you. So he's got his razor stuck. He doesn't really want to get out because who really wants to get out in that mess? So everybody else is trying to ease over to him without getting too awful muddy. <laughs> Some of them think he can spin and still get himself out. You're just digging I'm like, deeper and deeper. No, stop. Put it for the drive. Every time you spin the wheels, the you're button. going down deeper. So here they are trying to figure out <laughs> how they're going to get him out, what they're going to hook him to, because he's got the winch on the front of his razor. I don't flip it. <laughs> Hey, there's a tractor over there. Yeah, he just pulled in in the tractor. He's gonna be like, you stupid people. Don't get stuck. Watch it, y'all. <laughs> There he goes. He's not worried about getting muddy at this point. Hey, hook onto his ball. Now here's the problem. It doesn't stop. So this is another day we're out there with a different razor, a bigger razor. We're heading up, making a new trail and we get completely stuck so in both of these instances we weren't videoing until we already got stuck so i apologize there's no no video of us before we got stuck this hill does not look that steep on the video but my gosh it's like a 45 degree angle neither one of us really felt like getting out of the seat of that razor because we thought we were going to flip This was the first time we've ever tried out that winch, so this was a really good test for the winch. We found out 50 feet of winch cable does not go that far. Ow. Right here, the winch decided to overheat. It had a thermal overload and just shut off. So There's the no only thing that we could do was there. spool back out. But at this point, we're still trying to go up the hill. But you see how he's having to stand just to stand upright? <coughs> that was pretty steep. I mean, you can always back it straight down. You're not backing. It's going to roll. It ain't, it ain't going to back no more. I don't want to flip end over end, and that will. It'll back straight down that. You're clear of the tree. You're clear of the tree. Sorry for this camera work. I was still sitting in the passenger side of the razor, handing my phone off. We tried several different uh, snatch points with it, just trying to get it to make it, make it up the hill. I think this was the point where we decided we weren't going up the hill, so we just needed it to hook to us as we went down the hill, just to get back.
it was very muddy um, so not only is the hill really steep I mean honestly had it not been for all the mud and all the leaves we probably could have gone right up on the razor but the ground was so soft it's been raining like non-stop for days so it's it's basically a marsh where we're at and every step I mean you sink in so deep so the razor was just it was clawing for every bit of traction it could and it just didn't exist As you can see, as we're moving, we're sliding, even while tethered. winch does not really want to pull that razor up. It's a 4,500 pound winch, but it acts more like a 100 pound winch. trying again we got the chainsaws out we picked our path and we're trying to get some speed to go This point was much steeper and we were really worried about it flipping. Go. Come on. Okay, whoa, 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 stop! Try not to wrap the winch cable around the axle. You can see there's just no traction. Cut your wheels hard right. Hey, hang on. Hang on. This tree's stopping you. And this tree's stopping me. Right here. That tree's got me. Yep. Yeah. So you can see we went for a firewood run on another spot and it was muddy. 